Hi there, we're gonna check some things in Cloud Run. So I'm gonna check API and services. Let's go dashboard and I'll pay on a switch there on Cloud Run. Right, so we're gonna check any anyway, API and services. <coughs> yeah, that's enabled. Okay, the thing just default, just double checking. Run Google APIs, yeah. Great, leave it. Okay. Now we're <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I'm right, gonna configure the project. It's already said, no problem. I'm gonna clone a repository. Now we're gonna create a Docker file. Okay, let me open the editor. I could create Docker directly here. So what we have, Pyth theory, lab08. Okay, let's create a new file, name.go. That's what we need to be running, okay. I already called prepare before. Main file now I have to create a Docker file. Okay. New file, Docker file. From work did and CMD. Okay. For Go and uh, Python use, I don't use an entry point, I use a CMD. Okay. Pretty simple. Now let's go back to here. Let's go build dash O server. ls dash la all right yeah those server there let's submit that to cloud run okay the cloud will submit the tag i want project td gcr.io project d and the name of the image and the version 01 i mean here get a refresh let's be starting Cool. Let's do a re yeah, ref I don't I didn't deploy that yet, so it should be on just on container registry. So for running that G Cloud beta run. I don't need the bat, but this is our REST API at the image platform manage a low unauthenticated. So it's gonna be deploying here. I guess here you already see something. Yeah. I made a mistake out of that. Here inside of the server solution, and here I have some of the logins. Well, say so that's done. Gonna have a URL of it. It's gonna be provided here. The image. You know that you can define a pipeline with the. So you cannot access from here. Gonna have to do a cur probably. No, I have to do a cur. All right. I'm gonna come in here and dash. So the API I, I deploy it, sorry. 
just to remember a couple of labs I was checking. And now we are going to Firestore. Never my lib is here. I want to use a native mode. Let's create a database. Database is created. Database is red. What will I do? Okay, let me get something there on the on the bucket. All right. Now I'm gonna make the first store twin port. Just to do better file store import. Wonder sure I've done. I don't. Okay, here is gonna have our customer bucket. Look. The data are pushing to Firestore. All in spaces. Let's go back to Firestore. That's pretty simple. That's done. I should have a collection under root. Let's give a refresh of it. Sometimes it takes a while to refresh. Ah, that always happens. The refresh I was uh, I was not worrying that about. Customers, what we have under customers. I right, look here what we have. Cool. So now we're going to connect. Like for example, look at this ID. Customer Oh that didn't happen I should in my API I should get from this customer Yeah REST API correct let's go back to let's open the cloud run Check also the main.go. Yeah, run API lead function. Like to answer the status running, the printing. So I should change this.
or something strange here I'm trying to understand. I'm just open the cloud shell back again. I'm going to change that to answer, to read from this data, all right? They we shouldn't have found. It's just answering that folder, so I'll, I'll do something. On the okay, on my I'm gonna have to change the file. Let's go to the main dot go. Yeah. I will change all of it. Yeah, that's the code I have to replace. Okay, where they have the project PD, which can get from here. So, but it's, it's nice to know by commands because you may automate some things with the comments. I'm going to redeploy that. So let's go over for redeploying. Yeah. Now we're going to add some things to deploy for this goal. that code we had a custom handler okay save it let's create a customer type we could split in many files that so now we create a customer type and a way to get customer I'm gonna provide the code NOI and now we're going to to redeploy that. Let's deploy a new version of it. Now it's just saved it. Let's build the server. Let's deploy a zero two version. Let's create another image that already pushes to the, the registry. So after that, we have to run the 02 image. So you're going to create a new deployment on the cloud run. Just create a structure way you're going to read from the customers by ID. Cloud better run deploy 02. Look here, it's 02. I deploy as REST API, but the image is 02. Only this side don't, didn't deploy a new services, just replacing the servicing. Okay.
Now I can try to reach any customer. Here we go. It's doing a, a real select. My code is doing a select on the DB, okay? There's a customer handler. There's the main API that makes everything works. Customer by ID, so we call it's gonna call it the customer handler, okay? You have it to no go. In case we include the first store, okay, the client. It's pretty simple to work with all of that. So I guess we have the request here. You have the customer, which is already a type, okay. So although that also came with the get customer. Client collection customers were ID. It's pretty extremely simple. Go is so simple. If customer new, okay. So it calls the handler. The handler calls the customer. Simple as as that. All right. As you know, what is Firestar, which is a NoSQL solution, evolution of um, how can I say the data store in that mode? Uh, where else? If you know Mongo DB, this is a solution in cloud for that. Let's show that and finish this lab, like no SQL, no SQL, but this is too expensive as I need a global solution, it's extremely expensive. Here there is in, uh, in, in this mode, native mode and data store mode. There are a couple of differences. Uh, like that, that's why you have to choose what fits for you. There's no one size fits all. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next video.